And there I am sitting on the fender of a new convertible we just bought. Now, this one, here's me on the running board of my dad's car. I've always lived in the 500 block of North Nettleton. Would you believe all my life? I wanted to move down to the 400 block just to be making a move, you know. And they took up a petition and said, keep her up there. And I have lived all my life in this little 500 block. Isn't that pathetic? <laughs> My mother has had an opportunity to experience so many events. She's always had an interest in just about everything. My dad's brother was on this football team. Would you look at it? What I remember is many newspaper articles that she has kept from back then to now. December the 8th, 1941, and December the 7th, my birthday, was when Pearl Harbor was attacked. As time has progressed, she's had an interest in all sports. Now with the Chiefs, the local phenomenon is uh, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes connects it. Oh, look, sidearm. Oh my gosh, how do you not like watching him play? Unbeknownst to many of us, she has followed his, his path from reading the local newspaper, the Kansas City Star. I got a whole bunch of stuff on the homes. Everybody loves his play. He's so fast and so slick. I just thought he was so darn cute. My mother has always enjoyed the Kansas City Chiefs, but uh, she's never had an opportunity to go to a Chiefs football game at Arrowhead Stadium and what that might be like. Mitch, welcome. Come on in. Come on awesome in. Awesome to be here. Hi, Melba. Hi there. I'm Mitch Holtis, voice of the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, your son sent us a letter that tell us your great, incredible story. Quite honestly, it captivated the intention of our entire organization. So on behalf of the National Football League and all of the Chiefs Kingdom, we would like to invite you to be at our home opener, and we need you there with your own special jersey from the team. Oh it's got your name gracious. on it. Oh my God. And you are number oh 100 God. for this game. Oh and we need God. you in the stadium, in the loudest stadium in the NFL, to bring us I on to victory. Just say I will. It's the 100th season of the NFL, it's the 60th year of organization, and it's your first game. Folks, before we get this thing rolling, on behalf of the entire Hunt family, welcome to what Mr. Hunt used to refer to as his favorite place on earth. Melba, this is truly an honor to have you here on behalf of the Hunt family. Oh my gracious, I'm in the Chief's kingdom. Well, let's see now, which would fit me? Hey Melba, how are you? Honey, I'm just doing fine. Yeah, you're, you're looking great, I'll tell you that. I need to get out there and play I, myself. I can tell. Do you realize that you picked the absolutely perfect event to go to for your very first? It took me a hundred years to get here. <laughs> I have heard so much. You. I just want you to know how honored we are that you're here with us today. We're going to take you right over here to Len Dawson's case that we have for him. Len, I'm glad to see your statue because, boy, you've earned it. That's Patrick's helmet. Man, that thing weighs a ton. <laughs> Ready to suit up. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I want to make it higher, too. I can't get over these things. Go, Chiefs! Go! Ladies and gentlemen, the Chiefs are honored to welcome longtime Chiefs fan and Bonner Springs native Melba Mills. At the age of 100, today is Melba's very first game. Look up on the screen. Can you see up on the screen? That's you up there. It's Look at you up there. Can you wave? There you go. Wave. Wave real big. Melba, welcome to Arrowhead. I 
I think as this sets in, it will really be something that she truly recognizes as a once in a lifetime event. What was it? What happened? One hundred. Are you doing this? This is a game ball. I want to make sure you get this game. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Appreciate it. was Patrick Mahomes right there giving you a football, huh? Wasn't that special? I can't believe it, Tony.